subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Installing a specific version of GCC using PIP can be useful in certain scenarios, such as when you need a specific version for compatibility with your code or dependencies. However, it's important to note that PIP is primarily used for Python package management, and GCC is typically installed using system package managers. Nevertheless, there are cases where installing GCC via PIP is relevant, such as when dealing with Python packages that have C extensions. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use PIP to install a specific version of GCC, along with code examples. Firstly, you need to install the GCC package using PIP. This package provides a Python interface to the GNU compiler collection, GCC. Identify the specific version of GCC you want to install. You can find the available versions on the GCC releases page. Use the GCC package to install the desired GCC version. Replace x.y.z with the version number you want. For example, if you want to install GCC version 9.3.0, you would run. After the installation is complete, you can verify that the desired GCC version is now available. This command will display the version of GCC currently in use. Ensure that you have the required build tools and development libraries installed on your system. These may include packages like Build Essential on Debian-based systems or GCCC++ on Red Hat-based systems. Keep in mind that using PIP to install GCC is not a standard practice for system-wide installations. It's usually preferable to use the package manager specific to your operating system for GCC installations. If you encounter any issues or need additional information, refer to the documentation of the specific Python package or library that requires a custom GCC version. By following these steps, you should be able to install a specific version of GCC using PIP for your Python development needs. ChatGPT